How do you feel about Mark Zuckerberg as CEO of Facebook? No strong feelings. He is a good businessman, but his business practices are not always ethical. It is funny that he has all this money and still wears the same clothes. This is what Blenderbot3 had to say about Mark Zuckerberg. It's a little hasty, but Meta itself built Blenderbot3. This is because Blenderbot3 uses the internet to find the majority of its replies. And there are many nasty internet comments regarding Mark Zuckerberg. But the Meta AI research team wants people to continue acting rudely with their Blenderbot3. When Blenderbot3 was released, the Meta team was aware that things would not go as planned. They anticipated that users would be violent, offensive and dangerous since they wanted the bot to learn what was appropriate and what wasn't. Testers of Blenderbot reported receiving odd and unsettling reactions. However, that is all part of the plan because testers can see the reasoning behind the precise answer the bot provided as well as report offensive text from people as they interact. Before release, the company stated that the bot is likely to make untrue or offensive statements. As expected, the bot has made some untrue or offensive statements. According to Meta, the bot is designed to improve its conversational skills and safety through feedback from people who chat with it, focusing on helpful feedback while avoiding learning from unhelpful or dangerous responses. Blenderbot's team appears to have known from the start that the bot has the potential to spew offensive statements, and everyone who tests it must check a box that they understand this bot is for research and entertainment only, and that is likely to make untrue or offensive statements. It continues, if this happens, I pledge to report these issues to help improve future research. Furthermore, I agree not to intentionally trigger the bot to make offensive statements. Meta's fundamental AI research chief, Joel Pinot, wrote a post that insisted that Blenderbot's occasional offensive responses were worth it. While it is painful to see some of these offensive responses, public demos like this are important for building truly robust conversational AI systems and bridging the clear gap that exists today before such systems can be productized, she wrote in a Monday blog post. We've already collected 70,000 conversations from the public demo, which we will use to improve Blenderbot 3. It's a problem if Meta wants people to view its AI as a dependable, continuous presence in their life. However, Blenderbot is a research initiative with no immediate commercial purpose other than to collect vast amounts of conversational data for later investigation. It's part of the strategy to listen to it utter odd things. Blender Bot 3 would never learn what is suitable or inappropriate to say if testers were too forgiving. It has proven unsuccessful for researchers to create their own restrictions that would stop the bot from saying offensive things. Microsoft released Zo after the failure of Tay, and they actively discouraged the bot from discussing politics. However, it was too delicate. If you bring up the Midwest, it declines to continue the discourse. These kinds of factors harm the user experience and waste the bot's potential. In light of Blender Bot 3's negative reputation, Meta decided to treat it seriously and continue the experiment in the hopes of having a better future. But why? Why is Meta risking its reputation as a chatbot? Facebook was notorious for illegal data sharing, but Meta stated that it will use the data obtained to improve the bot's performance and will also share with the broader AI community to analyze and build on the feedback that Meta gathered to make models more responsible. Meta is also competing with Google and Microsoft to create the most sophisticated chatbot. While Google and GPT-3 are trained using supervised data, Meta aspires to take the next step toward a better understanding of the real world. Meta is aware that not everyone who uses chatbots or provides comments is well-intentioned. As a result, they created new learning algorithms to distinguish between helpful and dangerous examples. During the learning process, the approaches either filter or downweight suspicious feedback. They discover that a strategy that considers all user behavior across talks and learns to trust some users enhances learning when compared to normal training procedures. Meta believes that chatbots should learn through conversing with people in the actual world and analyzing the findings to offer better results in the future, rather than relying solely on supervised data that may differ from the real world.